is also a fossil fuel which means it is formed from the remains of dead organisms but it is liquid as the process of its formation was much different from the formation of coal petroleum was formed from the remains of sea as they died their body settled at the bottom of sea or ocean and gradually got covered by sand clay etc over million of years absence of air high temperature and high pressure transformed the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas all of us know how important petrol diesel etc are we get this fuels from petroleum we also get kerosene from petroleum petroleum needs to be refined in the refineries to get these fuels raw petroleum or crude oil is a dark oily liquid with an unpleasant smell it is extracted from earth through a deep oil well a huge pump extracts the petroleum through this deep oil well petroleum is a complex mixture petroleum refining means separating its components and it is carried out at petroleum refineries this separation process is known as fractional distillation this process is actually for separating chemical components by their boiling point mixture is heated to a temperature at which one or more fractions of the compound will vaporize look different components vaporize at different temperature and thus get separated so we get lots of things from petroleum we get fuels like petrol kerosene diesel lpg etc we get lubricating oil paraffin wax which we get from the residue of the refining process is used for making ointments candles petroleum jelly face cream wax etc bitumen which is also obtained from residue of fractional distillation process is used for making paint and building roads every component of petroleum has some use hence it is often called black gold natural gas is a very important fuel because it is easy to transport through the pipes natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas in short cng cng is used for generating power as fuel for cars cng is less polluting than petrol diesel etc but coal petroleum natural gas etc aren't available in unlimited quantity with heavy use of these we will run out of these resources in not so distant future so these are acceptable natural resources hence we have turned to resources which are available in unlimited quantity for fuel electricity production etc sunlight air are such inexhaustible natural resources solar energy is nowadays used for generating electricity for home industry etc also for cooking in not so distant future solar energy would also be used to run cars so now you know about petroleum and its usage to sum up petroleum is a fossil fuel petroleum was formed from the dead remains of sea animals millions of years ago petroleum gas petrol diesel kerosene paraffin wax lubricating oil are obtained by refining petroleum like coal 
petroleum is an exhaustible natural resource which means only a limited supply is available hence we should use it judiciously that's all for now bye bye children